now the important fourth requirement of the injectable okay we discussed the importance of pyrogens particulate matter as well as isotonicity in the previous videos and now this is about the sterilization sterilization is also one of the important parameter for the injectables right so because so this is the systemic circulation this is the systemic circulation you are injecting the formulation you are injecting the formulation directly into the systemic circulation right so if any microorganisms if any microorganisms present in this formulation microorganisms present in this formulation so you are directly injecting into the systemic circulation so that microorganisms will enter into the systemic circulation and this will cause harm to the patient this will cause harm to the patient so we need to remove this microorganisms right before releasing this formulation into the market the formulation should free from the microorganisms right the formulation the formulation of injectable it should free from free from microorganisms and uh, how we can get this freeness from microorganisms inside the formulation is there any technique is there to achieve the to achieve this condition free from microorganism is nothing but a sterile condition we can call it as sterile condition to achieve sterile condition the sterile condition is nothing but what free from microorganism formulation is free from microorganisms that condition is called sterile condition how we can achieve this sterile condition by performing different sterilization methods we have different sterilization methods we have different sterilization methods are there by using different sterilization methods we can achieve the sterile condition okay now so what are the sterilization important sterilization methods the industry will follow right so here dry heat sterilization dry heat sterilization and moist heat sterilization filtration radiation and gaseous sterilization so here yeah, see here the different sterilization with dry heat sterilization moist heat sterilization filtration radiation as well as gaseous sterilization so these are the five major sterilization methods generally industry will adapt industry will adapt so from this what we can expect in the examination what kind of questions they will ask so dry heat sterilization what we will use the biological indicator biological indicator as well as chemical indicator so basically this indicators are used this indicators are used to check the efficiency of this method whether this method is working is fine or not this method of working is fine or not means it is really it is uh, destroying the microorganisms or not how we can test we can test by biological indicator as well as chemical indicator so many times in the examination what they are asking about what is the biological indicator used in the dry heat sterilization moist heat sterilization filtration radiation and gaseous sterilization okay now the biological indicator used in the dry heat sterilization is bacillus subtilis var nigger and similarly bacillus subtilis var nigger bsvn 
same microorganism we will use in the gaseous as well. Bacillus subtilis var niger vs vn. Bacillus subtilis var niger we will use as biological indicator in dry heat sterilization as well as gaseous sterilization. And what is the biological indicator in moist heat sterilization? Bacillus coagulans and Bacillus stereothermophilus and Clostridium sporigens. Clostridium sporigens. These three microorganisms we can use it as biological indicator in the moist heat sterilization. Moist heat sterilization. And in the filtration, two times they asked in the examination what is the biological indicator in the filtration? That is nothing but Brevidomonas, Brevidomonas daimonita. Or sometimes we can call it as Pseudomonas, Pseudomonas daimonita. And biological indicator in radiation, Bacillus spericus and Bacillus fumilis. And biological indicator in the gaseous sterilization is Bacillus subtilis var niger. Bacillus subtilis var niger. And coming to the chemical indicator used in dry sterilization, that is. Brown's tube and Bowel Dick Tape. Similarly, here also we will use Brown's tube, Bowel Dick Tape, and here chemical indicator in the filtration is bubble point, bubble point test, bubble point test. In radiation dosimeter meter means it will measure it will measure measure the radiation in the doses measure the radiation in the doses that's why we can call it as dosimeter and uh, here we will use sachets here we will use sachets which kind of sachets those are royal sachets royce sachets royce sachets we will use in the Gaseous sterilization as a chemical indicator. Okay, these two are very very important. Basil, biological indicator as well as chemical indicator we will use it to determine the efficiency efficiency of the sterilization method. Efficiency of the sterilization method. So apart from this biological indicator and chemical indicator, in the examination what they will give? What is the principle? What is the principle of this particular dry heat sterilization? The principle of dry heat sterilization is oxidation. And the principle of moist heat sterilization is coagulation of protein, coagulation of protein. And the principle of filtration is physical separation, physical separation. And the principle of radiation is destruction of DNA, destruction of DNA. And the principle of gas sterilization is alkylation alkylation. So, this is the principle. And what is the example of this method? The example in the dry heat sterilization we can, it is a oven. In the laboratories we will see the oven, right? In the oven we can get to this dry heat sterilization. Here, autoclave. In the autoclave we will get a moist heat sterilization. Here we will use 0.22 micron filter. 0.22 micron filter and in the radiation we will use gamma and UV radiation. In the gaseous we will use ethylene oxide, beta propiolactone, sulfur dioxide as well as formaldehyde as well as formaldehyde. Okay. So, the sterilization is very very important. So, the formulation should be free from microorganisms. This condition is called a sterile condition. Okay, to achieve this sterile condition, we have different sterilization methods. Important dry heat sterilization, 
moisture sterilization, filtration, radiation, gaseous sterilization. So, what is the biological indicator? What is the chemical indicator? What is its principle and what is its example? These are the main previous questions they are asking in this area. And the here biological indicator for dried sterilization is bacillus subsilis varnagar which is similar to the gaseous sterilization. Here bacillus coagulants, sterothermophilus, sporigens, brevidomonas daimonita, bacillus pericus and fumilis. Okay, this table is very important for the examination point of view.